Okay, boys and girls, today we are talking about my favorite survival knife for every budget. Now, hopefully you guys don't mind the fans too much as this is during a snowmageddon or whatever they want to call it nowadays, but let's jump right into finding you a good blade, good survival blade at any budget, whether it's low, medium, or high. Okay, so the first one we're gonna talk about is the low-end knife. And I actually have a couple examples here, the SRKC and the normal SRK. And this is, whether it's the C or the full-sized SRK, my favorite low-end or really budget uh, knife. These are by no means lacking in quality or by no means cheap knives, but you can get one of these knives, whether the C or the full-sized SRK, usually for around anywhere from $40 to $60. And even when they are $60, there's almost always a sale going on somewhere where you can find them cheaper. Sometimes you can even find them in the mid $30 range. So this is in a this is a very, very affordable knife to get into if you are looking for a knife that you want to outfit your vehicle with or if you want to outfit, uh, you know, a bug out bag or something like that with a really solid, pretty sturdy and really affordable survival knife that is also very capable. Now you do have a couple different uh, variations. As people have mentioned, the SK5 SRK, the normal sized one, does have a bit of a hollow grind, whereas the SRKC, as you guys can probably see in the lighting, uh, it has just a normal flat grind, but the flat grind is kept on the upper end steel SRKs. So if you do go to a more mid-ranged or mid-tier expense SRK, you will have a uh, a maybe arguably better grind, but as it goes, I've put a lot of miles on this SRK, not too many on the SRKC, but they are both fantastic. And this is a well-known, well-used and very well-loved blade overall. So the SRK and SRKC are the choice for the budget or low end. Okay, so let's talk about the mid-tier one. Now the mid-tier is kind of a hard, uh, area because there are so many great knives in the 100 to 200 dollar range but i think that consistently the sr i think that consistently the se4 i think that consistently the se6 is one of the better knives for survival and this is primarily because if you look at the high-end competition it really is very similar in handle length in blade length in handle or in thickness, it's a little bit different, and in grind, it's a little bit different. But overall, as far as functionality goes, the SE6 fits a lot of roles and does a lot of things that are very hard for it to beat. And while I don't have necessarily a whole lot of miles on this SE6 yet, I am going to put quite a bit on. And by the time you're seeing this video, definitely will have used the heck out of this thing. But the SE6 is a really great kind of do-all blade and its ability to do many different tasks, whether it be skinning animals or doing heavier duty tasks like batoning, um, make it a really good multi-purpose knife and subsequently a really good, very solid and very reliable survival blade to bet your life on. And I think that there are a lot of people in the comment section below that will definitely second this and back up this statement by saying that they've used the hell out of their SC6s and they deliver very well. So they make this in many different options, but by and large, you'll, you can find SC6s for around $120 to $160. And they have different handles, different sheath options. And overall, you can really customize SC6s to fit your needs and your goals. But overall, the SC6 is my choice for a really solid mid-tier survival knife and I think that you'd be hard-pressed to find one that can quite compete with the SE6 for the price and for what you're getting. It's not the best of the best but it is a pretty darn solid knife. Okay so now let's jump into the high-end blade and this one here is the Chris Reeve Knives Pacific. Now if you have been around the channel at all you'll know that this Pacific is one of my favorite go-to survival knives. Once again it shares a lot of similarities in size and in capabilities as this awesome SE6 but it is of course being a higher end knife is just that much better and so it has you know micarta grips just like the SE6 but these have 
have contouring and grip added to them so they are very comfortable to hold and very traction and tacky and so they give you a lot of great traction and they're very tacky and so overall really solid handle and really comfortable ergonomics not to mention you also go from 1095 and sk5 in the cheaper or even cheaper model or in the srk you also are now getting s35 vn and so you're getting a really great corrosion resistant steel that will perform very well in addition unlike the other two they kind of use a truck bed coating on them that does wear off this blade has a really awesome uh, coating. I wish I remembered the exact name for it, but it really penetrates the steel. And as you can see, this blade definitely has a lot of miles on it. And the coating is pretty much all still there, although it definitely looks worn. You know, the coating is pretty much still there on all of the non-modified pieces of the blade. So overall, the CRK Pacific is a fan favorite. People love it around the channel, but it is also a knife that I've put a lot of miles on, feel very comfortable with, and so it has to be my high-end pick. Now, like I said, this is high-end. It is not a cheap survival blade, but it is a very effective survival blade. So when we talk about you know, an expensive but yet effective knife. This definitely is it for me. It's well designed and it's well executed on. So the SC6 shares a lot of similar properties to the Pacific, but it definitely is lacking in, you know, high-end steel and the handle definitely could be a little bit more grippy, but it is quite comfortable. Overall, these are my blades at each price mark. They're all pretty similar in size in thickness and in overall capabilities and tasks, except for maybe the SRKC. But overall, this is, hopefully this helps you guys, but overall, hopefully this helps you guys find a blade that will fit your budget. Not everyone has, you know, a million dollars to spend on a survival knife, though I do encourage spend as much money as you realistically can with the kind of mindset where it's similar to a gun that you might carry for self-defense. You know, this might be your life insurance policy. So some might ask, you know, why, you know, buy an expensive knife? There are definitely some reasons that I've elaborated in other videos, but also the fact that these blades, especially for survival, may be your life insurance policy. So you want a blade that is going to be very solid, very robust, and something that you can count on to save your life if you need it to. So that is the lineup for survival blades from lowest to highest. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.